Hey guys, so here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and in this video guys we're going to be reviewing the 83 rated Manchester United striker Marcus Rashford. Interestingly, I don't know why he's been given a striker card, I'm pretty sure he actually plays on the wing mostly now for Man United and it's Martial that plays as a striker this season, yet Martial's as a winger, unless I'm getting completely mixed up there, but um, yeah, let me know in the comment section. Anyway guys, I was very lucky to be able to pack this Marcus Rashford and even more surprisingly, he goes for 60,000 coins caught in the Xbox market, I'm guessing it's also a similar-ish price on PlayStation at the moments also and don't get me wrong I think his car looks pretty awesome for this stage of FIFA but I'm surprised he goes for that much at 60,000 coins when there's so many other good cards like walkouts and stuff that barely go for 30,000 coins but you know he's just a card that is so much in demand early on this FIFA and to be fair he did really well for me in the five games that I played him with he did score me eight goals and get me three assists so 11 goal contributions in five games that's an unbelievable return he does also have a free star week foot as well as five star skill moves then having a look at his in-game stats his main standout stats are going to be his 88 shot power his 86 agility as well as his uh, 94 sprint speed and finally his 85 dribbling now when I look at this car for the most part I think um yeah he looks great I think the only two areas that I have a slight issue with him um are his balance at 75 which actually isn't too bad because his agility and his other dribbling stats are fantastic so his balance doesn't need to be that high um and also the fact that he's got a free stabbing foot isn't great for a striker. Um, I think it's fine that the fact that his preferred foot is the right foot. And at the end of the day, you know, a free stabbing foot, you can kind of cope with that, especially at the early start of FIFA. But obviously, you know, maybe a month or two into the game, is having a player with a free stabbing foot going to be um, good to have in your team? Maybe not. But um, anyway, we're going to have a look about um, how he played in game. And I have to say, he was fantastic. Like, he really, really was a really good card to use. Just destroyed so many teams. And I thought he was just fantastic. His first probably is pacey, is light and quick when you get him into a one-on-one -on -one chance or you know you you play that free through ball he just breaks away from the defense they've got no chance of catching him he's lightning quick also he's got really good stamina as well at 87 but that acceleration and sprint speed you don't have to put a chem style to increase them whatsoever i would personally focus on his chem style increasing the legs of uh, his dribbling stats and some more of his shooting stats as well personally but um yeah, pace-wise, fantastic. Get him into a one-on-one -on -one situation. You're loving life. It's absolutely brilliant. His second probably is finishing as well. Uh, eight goals in five games. Again, um, I found myself hitting the woodwork a lot of times so far this year. Um, like with finesse shots, they seem to be good, but sometimes they seem to be overdoing the finesse shots and it hits the post or whatever. Or hits the bar, but um, yeah, he, he arguably could have got maybe even more than eight goals in the five games. But even so, I thought it was a good return. You know, early on in FIFA, I, I couldn't complain with his return. I was still getting used to the game, and the fact that he was able to get eight goals in five online games, I think, was very impressive. 81 finishing, 84. Um, positioning 88 shot power is obviously very good and with the maximum cam start all those finishing stats go up into the 90s well as his positioning goes to 89 but his finishing goes to 91 and shot power goes up to 93 which is absolutely insane um his long shots as well go up to 89 um his volleys go up pretty high as does his penalties as well so the maximum cam style is arguably a very good useful cam style to actually put onto this uh, Rashford because he gives the best boost to this card as a whole so um yeah but finishing wise insane score me one awesome finesse shot from outside the box that actually works went in off the post which is pretty awesome in my first game as well which is insane but uh, his next pro as well will be his uh, passing again pretty decent for uh, for a striker for his passing was um, you know he's got the likes of 75 vision 74 crossing uh, 75 short passing that's fine for a striker I don't think you need to increase that to be honest at all I think that's fine even for you know a few months down the road having a striker with those kind of passing stats is still pretty awesome so in terms of his like, little short passing linking up with players like De Bruyne and stuff like that he can more than do that like he's well well capable of being able to do that and obviously three assists in five games again from a striker is still a good return his next pro will also be his dribbling um again you know five star skill moves which i'm kind of surprised he's got um i don't think he's a five star skiller when i've ever watched him i think he's good at skilling i just don't think he's a five star yet in my opinion um i think it's a bit too kind to kind of give that to him in my personal opinion anyway but um i don't watch them all the time i haven't said that but um, yeah, a lot of his dribbling stats are very good. 86 agility, uh, 85 dribbling. Again, with that, um, that, that, that marks from Chemistar, both his agility and dribbling both go into the 90s. Yes, his balance is at 75, which maybe isn't the greatest, and also his composure at 78, but his other dribbling stats are fantastic. That actually, the likes of his balance, as I mentioned before, you don't need to worry about too much, again, at this stage of FIFA, um, because the rest of his card is just so good for early on in FIFA 20. And, uh, and that pretty much concludes all of the pros for this card. I don't really have any cards. The only thing, as I did mention before, is yes, I would like 
him to probably have a four-star week four, I think that would make him even better. Yes, it would make him even more expensive. Do I think he's worth it? I mean, first of all, you know, we talk about what's going to happen when the game comes out on Tuesday and then following the full full release of the whole world on the 27th of September. Will he go up in price? A lot of the cards on the market will go up, so icons will go up, special cards will go up, but I don't know. I, I'd be very surprised if someone like Rashford was to further increase in price. Do I think he'll go down in price? No, I don't, but I'd be surprised if this guy got to 100k. I'm personally going to go ahead and sell him because I really want to be able to get that uh, icon Garincha to use, but um, yeah, 60,000 coins for this stage of FIFA, probably kind of worth buying to be honest as a Premier League striker. I am also going to be reviewing Jamie Vardy as well tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned for that review as well, but overall, I was very, very impressed with his Rashford card for this stage of FIFA anyway, but anyway guys, that's going to finish this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.